how do welcome back my this uh, this lager is getting just better and better oh this has been out in the cold now for about I think it's about five days and uh, wow it's, it's just like a commercial commercial euro lager and what's really good about this yeast this nova lager yeast is it flocculates very well and just drops out suspension and once it's been out in the cool for uh, a few days it sort of like solidifies uh, on the bottom and, and sticks to the bottom of the bottle so what you end up pouring is I mean it's almost commercial quality clear not that that's important to me but for lagers you know especially if you're giving it to a, a guest or something like that they may want a, a clear clear lager beer and that is just just a few days out in a cool place and it's like a commercial beer anyway i've talked about nova lager enough uh oh last night i returned from uh dublin uh got home about 8 30 in the evening uh i was whilst i were there going to to do a review uh you know take a bottle up to my room and, and do a review uh, a beer that we don't see in the uk out of which there are many there's a huge brewing scene in ireland and they are some fantastic beers being brewed there but we don't get to see them they're not on sale in the uk unfortunately uh, even guinness uh, guinness just well we think it's just stout but it's not uh, they do a wide range of beers and in fact I, I was trying one of their citra ipas i put a post up on my facebook group page you can see a link down below uh yeah citra ipa from guinness really nice and they do a lot lots of different other styles as well so it's not just all stout uh but let me tell you something when it comes to stout Guinness isn't the best there are some fantastic stouts in Ireland but yeah uh, I didn't get round to uh, doing a review because work took us all out for a meal uh, that evening and of course I've been up at half past three in the morning to get my half four taxi because it's an hour to the airport where I live uh, and I left I think I left at about 10 30 that night so I was shattered when I got back to the hotel I just I just crashed out on the bed and just fell asleep so I couldn't do a review unfortunately but it's not going to be the last time I go to Dublin and uh, I'm sure there'll be uh, future opportunities because let me tell you <coughs> their beer is, is just fantastic traditional ales uh, you know craft beers uh, just a huge range of different styles and uh, they're all excellent I didn't, I didn't have a bad beer <laughs> that night I'm telling you uh, right so I'm now just preparing uh, this weekend's brew day it's going to be a rye beer never never brewed with rye before and I don't know too much about the style I seem to be getting conflicting recipes when I'm doing some of my research. Uh, some like this book seems to t uh, treat rye as like a specialty grain. Uh, other books, I've got this uh, this book here, they seem to treat it, the John Palmer book, they seem to, to treat it like uh, it's a fermentable uh, and it replaces pale malt so i'm probably going to do a bit of a hybrid uh what i'm thinking is a 50 50 so 50 percent will be rye 50 percent will be dry light malt extract and i'm also thinking of including a specialty grain like uh, uh well i've got crystal crystal t50 so it's 50 lover bond and i'll probably just put in you know a little bit of that i'm only brewing a small batch about 12 litres so I was thinking maybe uh, 600 grams of the rye 
which will have two obviously well like a mash like it's going to be like a mini mash um, now this book says to mash for 90 minutes uh, so like I say I'm gonna have to do some like a bit of a hybrid so I might mash for an hour uh, with the specialty grain the Ryan specialty grain uh, and then add you know uh, the same amount of rye in pale malt extract light malt extract uh, and that'll be the the malt bill and then I'll be hopping with uh, Simcoe and Citra so the Simcoe for this I'm going to actually use as a bittering hop as well as a flavour hop uh, it's a dual purpose hop but it's quite expensive so a lot of brewers don't use Simcoe for bittering they'll just use something else another high alpha acid hop uh, and I do still have actually some northern brewer left but no I think I'll, I think just for this I'll, I'll I'll go with the Simcoe it's 13.5% alpha acid so I only need a little bit for 12 litres maybe 10 grams uh, for bittering and uh, then it'll be Simcoe for flavour and then uh, Whirlpool will be Simcoe and Citra uh, and I'll put that on this weekend and get it in the fermenter and then I'm going to use I'm thinking USO4 and ale yeast uh, maybe add a little bit of fruitiness that just may help uh, complement the uh, the tropical notes of Simca and, uh, and and some of that spiciness from the rye I'm hoping I can get some rye flavours from it now I, like I say I've never really experimented with rye in fact apart from the brew dog ales I did over Christmas or in the lead up to Christmas I've never really tried a rye ale so what I've done is I've got six bottles coming uh, tomorrow I think of a Finnish rye ale and uh, I'll probably do a taste test of that whilst I'm brewing uh, so that'll be interesting because uh, like I say it's not really a style I've explored a lot of but this spicy note that it seems to give beers uh, interests me so and I think you know a bit of spiciness some fruitiness uh, it should turn out to be a, a quite a nice beer and of course there'll still be some sweetness from that crystal I'm using so hopefully everything will complement one another but that's the purpose of uh, doing these experimental batches uh, just playing around oh that's cracker that is a real cracking beer now my god anyway that's it for today uh, just an update uh, if you was waiting for that review of an Irish ale why uh, why you've got me talking instead uh, yeah we just had a great night out I tried lots of different beers and they were all paid for as well by the company and uh, yeah I just didn't have the time when I got back to the hotel so not to worry as I say there'll be other times but thanks for watching it's been a pleasure and as always I'll see you again in the next video which should be brew day when I'm brewing my rye ale cheers bye bye for now